Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about the 10 hottest trending Korean dramas you should watch right now, if you haven't. Number 1. Captivating the King is a work that deals with the cruel love story of King Yin, who is in a political crisis, fighting for the throne, and King Hee-su, a secret agent who approaches Yi-in for revenge but ends up being enchanted. Yi-in is a prince. His older brother is King Yi's son, who cares about him a lot. Vowing loyalty to his older brother, Yi-in is taken hostage by the Qing dynasty. King Yi's son soon views his younger brother's loyalty as betrayal and begins to hate him. Yi-in endures deep emotional pain because of this. Yi-in then meets an unknown Bodak player who wagers on her games. He is completely fascinated by the Bodak player. Through circumstances, Yi-in becomes the king. He holds the highest position and is a strong person, but he is sad and weak internally. When King Hee-su was gaining fame as an unknown Bodak player, she met Prince Yi-in and fell in love with him. Through a vortex of fate, she becomes a spy. She approaches King Yi-in to get her revenge. It has 16 episodes. Number 2. A Shop for Killers is an action drama that tells the story of Yoong ji -an. After her parents' passing, Yoong ji and lives with her uncle Jin Man who runs a shopping mall. However, following the sudden death of her uncle, Yoong ji receives a dangerous inheritance and becomes the target of suspicious killers. Shortly after entering college, ji receives a call from local police informing her of her uncle's suicide. Her carer, since the death of her parents, Uncle Jeng Jin Man, had always been quiet and mysterious but never suicidal. But before Jian has a chance to think, her life is turned upside down by a flurry of gunfire, murder drones and more, as a medley of highly skilled assassins inexplicably turns their focus to killing her. Pinned down in her uncle's home, Jian will be forced to revisit some of the bizarre training her uncle gave her throughout her formative years if she hopes to survive long enough to discover what is going on. It has eight episodes. Number 3. Queen of Tears. The series depicts the dizzying crisis and miraculous rekindling of love between Hong Hai in, a third generation Chable heiress of Queen's group, and Bi Kai and Wu, the son of farmers from Yangdu Ri, and their three years of marriage. Queen of Tears will tell the miraculous, thrilling, and humorous love story of this married couple, who managed to survive a crisis and stay together against all odds. It has 16 episodes. Number 4. Dr. Slump follows two former rivals, now successful doctors, as they reunite under one roof after facing the biggest slump in their careers, finding solace in each other's company. During his school days, Yeo Jeng Wu always placed first in academics and he studied at the top medical school in the country. Jeng Wu is now a popular plastic surgeon. His life goes smoothly, but due to a mysterious medical accident, his life is pushed to the edge. At this time, he meets Nam Hanul. She was a rival in his past and he meets her at the lowest point in his life. Hanul works as an anesthesiologist. When she was growing up, people called her a genius due to her extreme intelligence. She studied hard and became a doctor. Her life consists of only work and studying. She doesn't have any time to experience fun. One day, Hanul realizes she isn't happy with her life and she wants to make a change. At this time, she meets Zheng Wu during one of the worst moments in her life. They comfort each other and a romantic relationship blossoms between them. It has 16 episodes. Number 5. 
Mary, My Husband, is a story about Kang Ji Won who goes back 10 years in the past after being killed by her husband who had an affair. She has a chance to change her fate. Kang Ji Won is married to Park Min Hwan, but their marriage is troubled due to Min Hwan's selfishness and his demanding mother. Ji Won is the primary breadwinner for the family, while Min Hwan is unemployed and in debt. Ji Won also handles all the household chores herself. One day, Ji Won receives the devastating news that she has cancer and not much time left to live. To make things worse, she catches her husband and her close friend, Yung Se Min, having an affair. A physical struggle ensues, resulting in her tragic death at the hands of her husband. Suddenly, she wakes up in the past, 10 years earlier, when she was dating Min Huan. Determined to change her life, she decides to make Su Min marry Min Huan. Meanwhile, at work, Yu Ji Hyok, who serves as a chief in the same department as Ji Won, has feelings for her and slowly begins to reveal them. He also harbors a secret. It has 16 episodes. Number 6 A Killer Paradox explores this ethical conundrum through the story of university student Li Tang who finds himself in extraordinary situations. The story follows Li Tang, an ordinary college student, who gets into an argument with a customer during a part-time job at a convenience store at night, unconsciously swings a hammer, and kills him. Suffering from guilt and fear of murder, Li Tang learns one day that the person he killed was a serial killer and slowly realizes that he has a supernatural ability to identify bad seeds. He soon becomes a dark hero who punishes people who committed unethical evils in the past. A cold-blooded, charismatic and persistent detective starts to chase Li Tang. It has eight episodes. Number 7. Flex X Cope is a coming-of-age drama of an immature third-generation Chable detective and his exhilarating cases. Jin Yi Su has everything in life. Being a third-generation conglomerate, he never requires others' assistance. However, things start changing when he gets entangled in a case. Jin Yi Su joins the violent investigative team at the Kang Ha police station that specializes in catching robbers. He aims to use his wealth and personal connections to his advantage. He works under Detective Lee Kang Hyun. Kang Hyun is dedicated and a smooth talker and doesn't care for Yi Su's presence when they begin working as partners. It has 16 episodes. <laughs> Number 8 Wedding Impossible A comedic romance about an actress who enters a marriage of convenience with a gay heir, while his skeptical brother has doubts. Marriage is supposed to be a lifetime commitment, supporting each other through happiness or sorrow, difficulty or adversity. However, Wedding Impossible poses a thought-provoking question through its unique story setup. In marriage, is loyalty and righteousness more important than love itself? The story of the drama begins with a contract marriage based on righteousness, where a second-generation rich man passionate about image crafting unexpectedly meets a talented but obscure female supporting actress. This encounter seems to be destined. Surprisingly, their relationship is not that of husband and wife but of sister-in-law and brother-in-law. It has 12 episodes. Number 9. Night Flower. Cho Yi Hua has been a widow for 15 years. Her in-laws are the most prestigious noble family in the area. During the day, she lives quietly at home and never goes outside. But during the night, Yeo Hua secretly jumps over the surrounding wall and takes care of people who need help. In the process, she gets involved with Park Su Cho, and she begins to dream about her future. Meanwhile, Su Cho is a senior officer. He is good at his job and has an attractive appearance. It has 12 episodes.
Number 10. Love Song for Illusion. This kadrama tells both the heart-fluttering love story and fierce obsession of a king with two opposite personalities and an assassin girl who wants to kill him but ends up falling in love with him. Crown Prince Sajo Hyun is an intellectual character who uses his innate artistic sense to work as a fashion designer at a downtown boutique while hiding his identity of Crown Prince. He has a wound deep down in his heart from his childhood due to his oppressive father Sajo Soon. Sajo Hyun's other personality Ak Hee is a charming character who can easily seduce others, but he is cursed to feel extreme pain when he makes physical touch with others. Yeon Wall lives a life full of twists and turns, going from an assassin to concubine. Yeon Wall is the royal descendant of the fallen Yeon dynasty and the only daughter of Yeon Pung Hak. Yeon Wall hides her identity and becomes assassin Jaira to avenge her family. While trying to assassinate the king, she falls into a trap set by an unknown person and wakes up the next day with no memory of her past. It has 16 episodes. If you made it at the end of the video, thank you so much. If you like my videos please subscribe, click on the like button or leave a comment. Then have a nice day.